another love one another yeah love one another that's what we'll do don't understand how it happened. No, seriously, seriously, just explain it again. <sighs> I was playing my kazoo, mm -hmm. all right, and I don't know, I just... <laughs> you swallowed a kazoo? It's not that funny, all right? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Did you? Never mind. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. What are you doing? What? You're... I'm just, I'm just playing some music. I oh, love having musical instruments everywhere. Music, I, I would hardly call the desk a musical instrument, <laughs> but that's okay. If you don't think this is a musical instrument, then what, what counts as one? Only flutes and pianos? Yeah. <laughs> Anything can be an instrument. Look, look, look. That's really unpleasant. <laughs> you know, one of our dear friends is an expert on an instrument that doesn't count as an instrument, so I'll show you. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. You Ray! Come on in, man. Don't mind if I do. Hey, Leonard, uh, why don't you remind everyone watching who you are and what you know. Oh, oh, <clears throat> My name is Leonard Fortescue, and I am a professional metal detectorist. And this here is Camilla, my trusty metal detector. Yes, 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 yes. That's why I brought you on today, Leonard. So when Camilla detects metal, she makes a noise, right? <laughs> The kids scream when they find candy. <laughs> Hot dogs and ice cream, of course they do. <laughs> so, yeah, so in a way, it's like Camilla is a musical instrument, and together you make music. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I am metal detecting, and she is a metal detector. Door. Yes, but when and she did she has never let me down, unlike some people I know. Wait, wait, who let you down? Yeah, yeah, was that person in this, it's not in this room, is it? Of course not. Oh. Can't even be in the same room with her anymore. Best friends, <laughs> yeah, right. You, you wanna talk about it? No. Okay. Uh. It's her. Oh. Your friend who let you down? Ex-best friend. Yeah, she keeps following me around, trying to make me talk to her. Oh. Well, seems like talking it out would be a good idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, please welcome someone who knows Leonard. Oh, uh, wow. I, I didn't know you were best friends with Sugar. Best friends don't give each other the silent treatment. So I don't know that I would use that particular term. <laughs> uh, everyone, uh, this is Sugar. Uh, she works the cotton candy machine at the local carnival. That and other sundry vocations. So how do you know each other? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Carnivals are practically gold mines. People drop stuff out of their pockets all the time when they're riding rides or when they're eating funnel cakes too aggressively. You know. 
so naturally, we became friends. I'm a very friendly person. So, so what happened? Why, why aren't you friends anymore? That's what I'd like to know. All right, all right, I'll tell you, but I, I just can't tell you. I gotta show you, you know, to, to show you. Cube spin. It was a Tuesday, slow day for the carnival. Me and Camilla show up around 3 p.m. Sugar's working the cotton candy station. I walk over to her and say, hi, Sugar, making cotton candy again, I see. And she goes, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then I start making my way over to the Ferris wheel. You know, people always drop stuff all over the Ferris wheel. So I start scanning, and I'm scanning, and scanning, and then all of a sudden, whoa, Camilla starts going off. Beep, 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 beep. She starts singing. Told you it was a musical instrument? So I start to dig. And I'm a dick, and then a dick. And then all of a sudden, I start to smell something sweet. Something that smells like cotton candy. And I turn to my left, and there's nothing there. And I turn to my right, there's nothing there. So I spin around, and all of a sudden, I see a stick of cotton candy popped out of the ground like a prairie dog. And I run over to it. And I pick it up, and I bite into that pink and blue deliciousness, and then all of a sudden, when I turn back around, sugar! Yeah, so I put the cotton candy there to distract him. I thought my friend could take a joke. But then, I found something. And I was gonna give it right to Leonard. But when he came back, he was so mad. He was all like, I can't believe you tricked me. You stole my treasure. How could you? No! And then a crowd started to form at the cotton candy stand, so I had to do my job. When I looked up, they were gone. I couldn't find Leonard or Camilla anywhere. You see that? You're a traitor. She tricked me lured me away from my treasure, so then she went and dug it up. I was playing a friendly prank on you. It was not friendly. I was gonna give it back. What? Here. This may be the most valuable piece of treasure I've ever found. And you stole it from me. That's not what friends do. You gave me the silent treatment. That's not exactly friendly either. Uh, mm, it's, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Oh. Hey, everybody. Hey, Kellen. Having a little friendship trouble today, I see. Yeah, it's not fun to be hurt by one of your close friends, but I think there's a way to fix this. And here to help show us how are a couple of my friends, Becky and Bathilda. <laughs> today, we're looking at something the Apostle Paul wrote in a letter to the Colossians. He wrote, put up with one another. Forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive just as the Lord forgave you. Now, forgiveness is super important. So let's go over to Becky and Bethilda and see how they handle living out what Paul wrote. What is this? I tell her she can borrow a sweater and she pulls out everything and leaves it in a mess? Oh, sisters. Oh no, oh no, she did not tear a hole in my sweater and not even tell me, ah, Bianca, you're gonna pay for this, oh, my older sister is the worst. I know that eventually I'll have to forgive her. <sighs> I 
Yeah, right. Bianca! Well, maybe Bethilda will forgive her sister eventually. But let's check in on Becky. What in the world? The pages are ripped out. Oh, this is my favorite book. There is only one person who could have come in my room. Robbie! <sighs> Little brothers. What you want, Becky? Did you rip the pages from my book? Um, me? Uh, maybe. <sighs> oh. Oh. No. No, I'm just gonna do something mean because I'm hurt. <sighs> oh, I know I should forgive him, but... Oh, man, I am so upset right now. <sighs> God, I am really upset. I need your help to forgive my brother and... And not to hold this against him. Okay. Robbie, can we talk for a sec? That went a lot better. Becky was super hurt by her brother ruining her book. And that is totally understandable. I would be hurt too. But instead of acting out her anger in the moment, she took time to calm down and ask God to help her forgive him before going to talk to her brother. I bet the conversations that Becky and Bethilda each had with their siblings and how long it took for them to forgive went very differently. Now, let's see how our friends handle a situation with each other. I texted you multiple times. Why haven't you responded? Hmm? Are you ghosting me or something? No, I just, I wasn't sure what to say and then I got busy and I forgot. <laughs> yeah, but I texted you three times. No response. Shh. That's not how friends treat one another. I, you're right. That wasn't very nice of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're sorry? You know what? I'm gonna see how you like the silent treatment. Next time you need me, see if I reply to you! Shh to you! Shh! Oh, shh! Shh! Whoa, that was really rough. Definitely not what Paul had in mind for how we treat our friends. Let's give them one more try. Hey, Bethilda. Hey, Becky. So how'd your part of the project go? What project? The science project that's due today. You did do it, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so can I see it? No! Okay, I totally forgot. <sighs> Bethilda, <laughs> we could fail. That was half the project and I worked so hard on my part. I'm sorry. We still have that language arts project. Oh. We could partner up again. I'll make it up to you. Yeah, how am I supposed to trust you now? I promise I won't forget again. I'm so sorry. I'm okay, sorry. okay, 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 okay. Listen, listen, okay. I... I suppose that everyone deserves a second chance, so I will forgive you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh, oh you're the best, Becky. Oh, okay. mm. You know, maybe we could work on some science extra credit. Totally. <laughs> In both situations, each of the girls had a valid reason to be hurt and upset with the other. Their friend let them down. But in Becky's case, she chose to give Bathilda a second chance and forgive her. And that's just like how God treats us. God always forgives us and always gives us countless second chances. Let's review our Bible verse one more time. Put up with one another. Forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive, 
just as the Lord forgave you. It's not always easy to forgive people when they mess up, but when you believe in Jesus, God is always with you and the Holy Spirit can help you love people and forgive them the way God does. How about it, everyone? That was great. Yeah, that's so helpful. You know what, sometimes it's so tempting to just stay angry at someone when they let me down. Everybody makes mistakes and we also make bad choices sometimes. We all need people in our lives who put up with us and forgive us. Mm -hmm. So true. Thanks, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you later. How about it, you two? Well, uh, the field was kind of, you know, embarrassing to watch, and I think I was kind of acting like her, so I'm sorry. Uh, you forgive me, sugar? Of course I forgive you, Leonard. You can't get rid of me that easily. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry I played a trick on you. Friends? The geese paint the sidewalk at the park green? <laughs> Wonderful. Hey, you wanna go and search for some treasure together? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. See, see you guys. Bye. Bye, litter. Bye, sugar. I just love a happy ending. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad they forgave each other. You know what, forgiveness is so important. Oh, 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 oh! What? Reveal the question. Ah. Yes, why is forgiveness important? We saw some really good examples today. Yeah, like forgiveness can help friends stay friends, mm -hmm. even if one of them messes up. Uh, yeah, and forgiveness helps you not be angry for too long. Yeah, basically, it's super important. Mm. Uh, but now it's your turn to talk about why that is. Yeah, think about it, share it with each other, and we'll see you next time. I'm Brandon. I'm John. And this was the so-and-so show. <laughs> the so-and-so show. No, I liked it better the, the other way. The so and so. so, -and -so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's very funny. Mm, did you swallow anything else? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let them figure that yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> she kept picking up this loud something, and I realized it was the gold coming out of Byron's mouth. <laughs> it was in his teeth. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, picking up something. Oh, I'm picking up something. What's this? Oh, look at that. It's a ringy zingy. Because it's a ring. bolt. No, no, no. It's a ringy zingy because of the, the ring. Hey, see, see, look. If you put this into anything solid and you turn it clockwise, it can pick up any amount of weight. Anything at all. It's amazing. It's probably worth about $7.50 on the open market. Oh, well, I'll let you have it. Oh, you sure? All right, thank you.